Hi guys, this is Mad Mike's Garage. This is my 2007 Sierra Classic, and I'm going to show you how to diagnose code U0101 before you spend the big money to replace that transmission control module. Okay guys, once you get your transmission control module off, it's mounted down here right on your radiator shroud. You're going to you have your connector, which is pretty simple to get off. As you can see, you just uh, push down. I think mine's a little boogered up. You put, push down on these, which releases this, and it, it slides over, and it comes right off. Now, what you're going to be looking for here is pins number 10 should be hot all the time. And wiggle your harness when you check it and make sure you don't have some wiring issues that could be causing all this. You, you might find that you have a, a bare spot rubbed through or a wire that's broke if you're getting into a bunch of crazy mudding and such. And this one here is pin 70. So 10 and 70 are battery hot. They're hot all the time with the switch off. Now I already turned my switch on to save us some time. And number two is battery or I'm, I'm sorry, ignition hot, same way. This will only come on when the ignition is on and you come over here to 63. So it's one through 10, or yeah, one through 10. And then this starts 21, 31, 40, you get the idea. Anyhow, this is 63. This is the other wire. And this one is, uh, trust me, that was me. This one is is good I've already checked everything so and then we have one more check we need to check two grounds which is 9 and 69 which are right up from our hots these two need to have continuity and they do that's pretty much what you need to know and on the 6 speed trucks the connector is pretty well it's a lot better than the five speed the five speed trucks had a lot of issues with the pins pulling out and then the, and then when they went to the six speed trucks uh, it has a completely different looking module but the modules are problematic the five speed trucks had a connector issue so more often than not the five speed trucks your modules fine you just need to find the, the pin that got uh, push back and get it pushed back in there and secure it uh, So these ones here Unfortunately are a lot more expensive to fix, but you got to throw the module on and that brings me into uh, The re after the research I did I was looked at Because my truck was in limp mode I was looking at probably having to get it towed to like a dealership and then spend the big money on the on the part there and then they need to program it that's the kicker with these. You don't just buy it, put it on, and you have to have it programmed. But there are diesel service uh, places you can look online. I got this one off Ryan's Diesel Performance. It was $550. You give them your VIN number, and they program it, send it right to your house. You plug it in. It's plug and play. Thanks, motometer. And uh, that's it. So this is your best bet. For 550, I got it. If you take this to a dealer, you're gonna have a tow bill plus a thousand dollar dealership bill. So that's pretty much it. I can show you uh, how this uh, connects on here. Since I didn't show you how it went apart, but I'm done playing around with my harness. But I just wanted to show you guys that. Uh, and I did change this push pin out. Uh, it had a one of them we have to pull apart, and that's like pain in the butt so i just put a regular one in so you don't have to mess with that um i've actually captured a lot of my information from a couple different videos and some old forum posts and i just wanted to put it together here real quick um because i like fixing things myself uh just just for the money savings it isn't because i i mean i like to do it but it's more just to save the money and these days, you know how it is. So, uh, like I said, check those wires, wiggle your harness, make sure the ones that I sh showed you needed to be hot are hot, make sure your grounds are, are good, and if they are, and you're still having issues, just buy yourself a module. 
uh, try to save yourself a few bucks. Uh, like I said, Ryan's Diesel Service hooked me up. Uh, that's all I have today. I'm going to try to make videos anytime that I work on my stuff from here on out. Just to show people what I do. I'm not necessarily the best by any means, but I do what I can to save my family money. Uh, I have a, uh, a Del Sol that I've been messing around with here lately. I just drove it in the snow. It's not leaking anything. Uh, I do see that it needs some front calipers, so I'll probably take a video of that even though that's old old tech and that technically this is too but uh and then i also have an old uh 69 short bed that i ls swapped with a 60 truck motor out of an 01 and the transmission so that's a nice running vehicle um so like i said i'll put some videos together for you guys and uh, hopefully we can get some comments going down in the in the section if I saved you guys a little aggravation uh, I'll throw a PayPal link down in the description send me a couple bucks if I saved you some time saved you some money that's where I'm at so I'd like to grow my channel uh, if you have any anything to add to this video that would be great you can put those uh, comments down there and we will uh, be glad to hear from you guys. This is a new venture that I'm just seeing if it's gonna take off. I know the, the market's flooded with everybody that's trying to do their own little thing. Uh, so we'll see. Thanks again, guys. This is my 2007 Sierra Classic Duramax. I love this truck. It's just an extended cab and it has 330,000 miles. Did you fall? You're ruining my shot. Oh my goodness. <laughs>